Hi there. Hi Floss Tube. Um, today we are going to give you an update on the chicks and the beginning of the gardening and so um, that's what we're going to do today. Um, so I'm going to flip you around and then I'm going to take you on a little tour. And there you go. So we're going to hop in the golf cart and we're going to go down to um, the barn area to, I have to get another feeder for the chicks because they're eating too much. So this is the area of the garden I'm going to work in, I'm cleaning it up and getting it ready for um, plants. And so here we go. This is Colleen's little cottage right there. And this is how, when she's having a bad breeze day, she can take the golf cart and drive down to the quilt room. It's our neighbor's house. They have the horses, if we ever show you. This is our above the barn that we talk about. And this is the quilt room. And then this is, we're going down to Ed's part. <laughs> so Simone is going to stay, um, I don't know if you could see, maybe I can, oops, sorry. That's where Simone is going to be staying in our RV next, she's going to start next week till she goes in the National Guard. And then this is our property over here, even where the horse is, but our, we let the neighbor use it um, because we're not using it. We have apple trees and pear trees there. And then um, down below here is where we're gonna build our garden boxes. Ed's really excited to start doing that. And we have some fruit trees planted. And so we're gonna have, oh, Pac's getting interested in what's going on over here. Um, Anyway, so by where the cherry, tr where that tall stump is, like right in here, um, Ed's going to make some bowls out of that cherry wood. But that's where, right in here is going to be where um, the beds are going to be. Then we're going to have a greenhouse, a little one, over here to store my plants in the winter and s new starts. And then over here is going to be um, some berries on some vine, um, some berries on on like grapevines so that's that and i'm gonna walk into ed's barn right now and go get the chicken feeder stuff so i'll be right back okay here we are at the coop and i cleaned out their water i added extra feeder because they're getting so big and here i'm going to lower you down if i can without changing anything into their area but you can see how big they're getting what are you girls doing I don't know if you notice this one right here has a crooked beak it's just a malformation and supposedly they can live a long life with it but Rika and Teresa are really hiding back in there But Jane, Jane's the one with the crooked beak, and she's just as happy as can be. And there's Svetlana. She's the biggest. So you can kind of start to see their feathers are coming in, and, and we keep checking their we keep checking their rears to make sure that they're okay, and they're okay. So tomorrow we go get um, some more. So that's the chickens. And then we just got, hap I got Happy Mail from Rika today. Um, I accidentally threw Colleen's thread down on <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> but that's what she gets because she canceled my whole um, video I did yesterday. So I put this up yesterday, and you don't get to see the before of this area, but these are Ed's boots. Can you believe he has 35 boots? 35. 
And this is only part of them. These are the ones he uses, he says. Yeah, right. You can't wear 35 boots. And then this is what I cleaned up yesterday. Um, I used to have my herbs here, and it wasn't a good area, of course, because it was too shady. And Ed told me that, but I didn't believe him. <laughs> um, we keep our fruits and vegetables out here that need either need ripening or we need space. Um, the, but this is what Colleen sees when she comes out her door. <laughs> so these are going to be all flowers. And then my neighbors are going to put the egg cartons there. And then this is a hammer that Ed made. Um, we're doing our patio. And so um, now I use it for planting and all sorts of different things. So, and this is where Colleen keeps our poor dogs. See, look at them begging to get in. Look at them. She won't let them in. Poor Lincoln. Poor Daisy. Lincoln's just staring. <laughs> oh, I guilted her into it. <laughs> So this is a temporary block because they like to sit actually on that porch and uh, when the sun's out because it's warmer. So Ed's going to actually build a gate there and um, anyway so we got a lot of work to do on this property but today this is my little area. This is what I need the greenhouse for. My lemon trees. And I have some other plants. Look at that. Oh, awful. The wind broke stuff. Um, but today, this is the area I'm going to work in. Just cleaning it up, and then I'm going to remulch it. Um, we've got plants that are starting to come up. And I need to turn back some of the old ones. And then, eventually, we'll be over there. So, for now, that's it. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, I was visiting Colleen because I got pooped. And now I'm finished with this one little area and I was going to show you. Um, she loaded the video before I was ready, but I didn't actually tell her, so that's not fair. But anyway, here it is all cleaned up with new mulch. Um, a little bit more mulch to put in the back, but I knew that I was going to mulch the other area, so... Um, it's now ready. Hopefully the weeds won't grow up and I have um, hostas planted in here and some bleeding hearts and um, oh what else do I have in here? I don't remember what else I have in here but um, anyway this is the start of this bed. It was just full. Last year I um, last year I cleaned it out because it was just full of this stuff here and if you know anything about this stuff it goes crazy and I wanted roses and um and more cottage garden looking so tomorrow or not tomorrow next week I will be working in this bed and getting all this stuff moved I keep moving it gradually around <laughs> so anyway and then eventually like i said here we'll be here so have a great weekend and we will see you again soon bye